What up, YouTube? Welcome back. This is season number four, episode number 14. Heading into the 13th game of the season, which is the Conference USA Championship game. The team has made it to back-to-back -to -back championship, conference championship games. This game is going to be against ODU. Coming off of another victory, which contributed to us landing in it. We went undefeated at this point. Nobody in the conference can really touch us. So the last game we beat Louisiana Tech 43 to nine. The stats on that. Uh, Panacea came in for a few snaps. The computer gives the game ball to the kicker. But let's see, you know what? I think I'm gonna go ahead and give it to Griffin. Looking at this. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So, the game ball for the victory against La Tech is gonna go again to Griffin. Griffin has collected quite a few game balls this season, but he's definitely earned them. So, 20 carries, 123 yards, and a touchdown. 18 yard long. Now, before we even get into the tell of the tape for this game, coach and staff, head coach has made a decision. I think I mentioned this in the last episode, but uh, we, what we are gonna do for the last few games of the season is we're gonna allow Panacea to start. So what we've done is we moved Rogers down on the QB depth chart three. Put Panacea as number two. Goddard as I'm sorry, Panacea as the starter QB one. Goddard QB two. And the reason why I, I dropped Rogers down to three is because I also made him the number four wide receiver on the depth chart behind Liston, Mason, and Jones. So Rogers will. Uh, get moved to wide receiver in the offseason and basically even though Rodgers is a fairly highly rated QB the thing about him at this point is is you know I, I was hoping that he would be passing more he's, he's he looks like a really good passer when you look at the pass ratings you know what I'm saying like the 81 power the 87 accuracy but this dude does not stay in the pocket for too long. He runs into too many sacks. That's one. And although I appreciate his wills, you know what I'm saying? Oh, shit. Shoot. I appreciate his wills because, you know, he's a 90 speed. But, yo, I need him to throw. Especially, you know, we're uh, with this new offense that we have been, uh, this playbook that we, we implemented this season. You know, and, and I'm trying to get the ball more to our playmakers at the receiver spot. So, you know, Panacea is, has been doing that when when he's had to fill in for Rodgers. So we're going to let him rock out for the rest of the season. And he'll compete with uh, the redshirt freshman we got. The freshman that we have, redshirt. All right. So back to the championship game. Tell of the tape against ODU. They got a pretty decent offense there, B minus. Remember, they got a pretty good quarterback. I don't know. Uh, it was some game I was watching where, you know how they they flash on their uh, the highlights of the other games and they flash the ODU game and their quarterback had like four touchdowns. So, so yeah, they definitely have a uh, a fairly good offense, but you know we feel like we can shut them down. So we'll see, we'll, we're gonna see what it do. We definitely gonna see what it do. All right, so heading into this game, they're gonna wear their white helmets with their blue pants. We might have to go brown gray and see what kind of shoes they got. Those shoes do not match. They're gonna roll with those. On our side, I have 
have to put on. Well, you know what? We can go with the, the gray, blue, gray on them. We'll go with the gray, blue, gray. So let's see what it do. Hi everybody, Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented right. by Nissan. Another rain Innovation game, let's go. Excites. Let's get this championship. We've got yeah. Conference USA action just around the corner. Everybody's loose everybody ready to hit thanks for checking out the pregame show ncaa college football action coming up next with brad and kirk on the call david and i will see you at halftime this is a game with huge bowl implications and there's a conference title on the line it's the conference usa championship We'll see how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. He sends this one deep. Tackle made at the 17. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Scrambling. Mistake will cost this offense possession of the ball. And this young safety was right there to pick up the fumble. Huge break for the defense. So the off. The, fresh the freshman Hill with the huge hit. They did, their quarterback don't know what hit him. Offense will come out in opponent's territory for their first drive of the game. They couldn't have asked for better field position than this. Fires quickly, and he's got his receiver for the touchdown. Stepped up and threw a touchdown pass to his wide out. Good job. Of How ironic. How fitting. Spotted his man. How fitting, right? The converted quarterback catches the first touchdown of the championship game. How fitting. He makes the PAT. Rice kicked this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 23-yard line. The Owls are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. A fumble ended this offense's last drive. Let's see as they come out on the field what they'll do this time around. Well, they're already playing from behind the eight ball, but they have plenty of time to get back in this game. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 23-yard line. And he carries the ball for a nice game. They get about six yards on the option to the halfback. Third down. Man left, man left. He 
passes it. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. Strong showing by the defense. You always like to get the other team's offense off the field as fast as you can. get the ball in the end zone on their last drive as this quarterback just picked apart the defense. As long as this quarterback has time to throw, then you can guarantee that he'll find the open man. And he's tackled around the 47-yard line. That makes it second and 10. Second and 10. Ball on the 47-yard line. Rice is up a score. wasn't badly played by the defense, but sometimes a good throw and catch just beats you. First down, caught down at the 34-yard line. Well, this guy really showed some giddy up getting down the field for a big game. It's first and 10. Ball on the 34. Tailback up front. He better be thanking his offensive lineman for that. From the 19 yard line. First down. <laughs> Big opening. They'll bring him down at the 11 yard line. That'll bring up second and three. really fighting to create that touchdown that exactly is why I had to start Panacea right there right there two touchdown passes in the first quarter within the first couple possessions he's on oh to Pierre Jones what a route what a route what a route Put that DB in the blender. And he adds the extra point. A seven play, 46 yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. Fred, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. McCoy fields it at the two, tackle at the 23. Rice's defense is playing lights out right now and pitching a shutout. Yeah, I would not be shocked at all to see this defense be able to maintain this. I, it just the way they're playing, the attitude that they seem to be playing with, if they can maintain the energy and the awareness of this offense, there's a very good shot that they could shut this offense out. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. He makes his way out to about the 35. From their own 35-yard line, it's first down. Ball is loose, fumble. They fall on it. At about the 25-yard line. The running back won't be happy that he lost the ball. He's got to forget about it and get ready for the next series. His offense is going to need him again. When you're a quarterback and you start this close to the end zone, your eyes just light up when you take the field. Conversely, the defense is thinking, uh-oh, we can't let him get another one so quickly. Nice run up the middle. Griffin gains 
gains about four yards on the play. That makes it second and six. From the 21 yard line, it's second down. Ready! Red 18! needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. They're at the eight. Second down. Touchdown. That's what make Dallas kind of see dangerous. He ain't fast, but he can run. He can run. Great job. Great job. He splits the uprights with the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 21-yard line. Rice has got people flying all over the field on defense right now. Boy, they sure do. Right now, we're just seeing great defensive effort. They have a plan. They understand it. They're playing with great speed, and they're not giving up big plays. That's why they're playing well up to this point. Here comes the offense, hoping to erase the memory of the fumble on their last drive. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. Good for, Good for a gain, a gain of six, six yards. yards. That'll, That'll make it so it's second more. down now. They need about four yards to pick up the first. Mike 34, Mike 34. He airs it out. And he makes the catch at the 30. And he's taken down at the 20. Great play for the offense and a great call by the offense. But the defense has to change things up. They've got to put more pressure on this quarterback. Five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. They'll give it off here. And they'll bring him down behind the line. By the time the running back here got the football, he's looking up and he's got a couple defensive linemen closing in on him because they were able to slip off of their blocks. Really, there's nothing he could do at all there. That was more of a miscommunication of just getting overmatched up front by the offensive line. Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Ball on the 21-yard line. Quick throw. He's taken down around the 22-yard line. They get a one-yard loss on that one. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated them there. They come out in an empty backfield. Quick out to his receiver. He's tackled at the 12-yard line. I know the defense would have liked to have prevented such a big game, but the important thing is that they held and brought up fourth down. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Now he's scrambling. Tackle made at the two. That's a game of 10. That makes it first and goal. He's going to try and scramble. He gets sacked on the play. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. They found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. From the six-yard line, second down. Oh, 
We're at play number nine of this current drive. That makes us He's on the run. And he's going to run this one in. Touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. A nice nine play, 79 yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well executed touchdown drive. So our score. 21-7, and he's taken down at the 30-yard line. The Owls really could have uh, overlooked this team today, I think, very easily, but they haven't done that so far. No, you can't take anybody too lightly, and they've obviously not done that. They come out of the gate today and really putting a lot of points up on the board. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Pass complete and taken down immediately. I like that they're completing these under routes because pretty soon the defense is going to start to cheat up that's when the quarterback will have his chance to go over the top for the big play nice game as he works the right side so he picked up a few on that run yeah he did a nice job of using his blockers on that run really nice read we've got a first and ten ball on their own 42 He scrambled, runs with it, and he's got room. And they make the stop at the 45. I'm telling you, quarterbacks who can run the ball are so hard to stop. You have to scheme around them, which takes the best coverages out of your defensive playbook. Ready. Nice run there. Griffin gets seven yards on the play. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Two touchdowns. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. in the jumbo set. Set! Red! 68! Red! Tries to get around the corner. Runs outside for a nice game. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. This is the 10th play of this drive. That brings him second and goal. Watch out for a pass play when you're in a goal line D. And a nice move to finish it off. Touchdown. Nice run and a score by the halfback. And a nice call by the coach there. Just give it to your main man anytime you're near the goal line. He makes the PAT. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. 
He'll return it from the three. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 24. Well, this is turning into a shootout here. Now, remember, the last time we saw this offense out in the field, they answered the bell and scored a touchdown. Can they do that now a second time? It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. Going right, intercepted. That's the last thing they needed to happen was an interception. They're trying to fight to get back into this game, and to have that miscue, now it's really up to their defense to try to help them out. What a put. What a play. What a play by that defense. First, he, 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 now, his own man tackled him, but we will take that interception. We don't get too many, but we'll take them when we get them. Good job. Oh, what a play. The senior, he went after that. Saw it the whole way. Great coverage. Oh, great job. Down 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 49. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. Mason intended to see the play. play. That makes it third and three. From the pressure. Loss is eight yards on the play. That'll make it fourth and ten. Let's go. Hurry up. On the ball. On the ball. McCoy is back deep to return the punt. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback threw an interception on their last drive. Let's see if they can be more successful here. And we'll see how aggressive this defense is when they come back out. I wouldn't be surprised if they kept up the pressure to try to fluster this quarterback some more. And he's tackled at the 30. You talk about a dual threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. First and 10. Ball on the 30-yard line. Makes it out to about the 40. They come out in a five-wide set. And he's hit immediately. There's a strike complete. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. From their own 49-yard line. First down. Brought down right around midfield. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. Nice run, and he's brought down. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Looking for his man, incomplete. Kirk, good news. The guy that we saw go to the locker room with that injury earlier is back on the sideline, and I got to bet he's going to be back in the game soon. This punt, if he gets it where he wants, it can really change the field position in this football game. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. Quick throw, and bring him down right around the 28-yard line. They pick up good yardage that time on the pass play. You hear they kind of put pressure on the quarterback and challenged him to find the hole in the defense, and in this case, he did. Nice job. He's 
to the 40. He gets out to about the 44-yard line. The option's one of the more difficult plays to defend. The defense went after the quarterback, which left the running back with plenty of room. four-yard line. It's first down. Ready. Green 19. Green 19. Check, check. Hammerhead. Number 19 was the second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 44. Set. Red 18. Check, check. Stay on. both the quarterback and receiver, but it all starts with the big fellas up front who provided the time to get the quarterback a chance to throw. From the 30-yard line, first down. That was an ill of that that was an ill-advised pass, but I'm happy he completed it. My goodness. Threw it into double coverage. And it barely got in. Oh wow. Wow, wow, wow. Good job. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. practice that one a few times and he adds the extra point oh, they line up to kick this one away nice kick plenty of distance and it goes into the end zone down for a touchback I'm really surprised how lopsided this first half has been. But this is college football, and no matter what the score is, the adrenaline's always pumping on both sides. Fires out to his wideout, and down he goes, right around the 30. That's a game of five on the play. That brings him second and five. It's second and five here. Ball on the 30. He's scrambling, and he's sacked. It looks like the defensive end that got in there. Yes, it was. He did a wonderful job of fighting off blocks to bring the quarterback down. Makes it 
to the 48-yard line. Griffin's right now just having his way with this defense. And through two quarters, or most of two quarters, he's controlled the football game. And some adjustments are going to have to be made at halftime on the defensive side. First. Well, the defense is going to have to do something. Because if this trend continues, there's no way that this football team can come back and win the game. I look for this defense to load the line of scrimmage, just get really aggressive, take some Get more aggressive in the second half and see what they can do. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 40-yard line. Rice is winning big. And he just gets rid of it. relies so much on timing and as you saw there when their timing gets knocked off they have a tough time connecting on plays on field under pressure Bumble, loose ball it's picked up he's at the 40 what a tackle that was going to be a touchdown it was a quick three and out on their last possession this offense needs to start playing some emotional football. Swings it out left to the halfback. And he's taken down at about the 19-yard line. Griffin on the tackle at the 19-yard line. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Now he tries to buy some time. He's taken down around the 12-yard line. I doubt anybody will ever mistake this guy for a tailback, but he didn't look too bad running the ball there. forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. From the 12-yard line, it's second down. He's going to try and scramble. He's tackled at the 8-yard line. Just no way anybody could catch up with that pass. This should be an easy field goal. The kick is up, and it's good. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. The Huskies were ranked 23rd. The victory was solid. We'll see how much it impresses the voters. This was a tight one to the very end. And for McCray, he was on the receiving end of a pair of touchdown passes. Northern Illinois wins it 28-24. All right, thanks, Reese. Back to the live action here. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He'll return it from the six. Tackle made. It's a 36-yard line. Rice has been playing like a well-oiled machine in this first half. And, Kirk, are we going to see more of the same in the second? Well, I think as long as they can maintain the proper frame of mind, I think they've got a great shot to be able to pull away and win this game decisively. But the challenge for them will be listening to their coaches at halftime and continuing to play with that same aggressive attitude that they played with in the first half. Get to that quick one. the 45-yard line. It's second down now. Just a few feet away from that first down marker. Rice comes to the line. They got a big advantage in this one. Got his receiver. Dropped it. Incomplete. ground 
incomplete. Jones intended to see the other play. That'll bring up fourth and one. McCoy is the deep man awaiting the return. He makes it to the 25-yard line. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. It's the running back who picks it up. The offense calls a timeout, and that was their first timeout. And they're lucky to retain possession of the ball there. From their own 23-yard line, second down. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. Call it a gain of six yards. Third down. with a carry and now he's got room to run and they push him out right around the 46 yard line that makes it first and ten first and ten ball on their own 46 And they make the stop at about the 45. The offense calls a timeout, and they'll have one timeout left. And they got it. That brings us third and ten. Slings it. It's incomplete. We've still got a half of football remaining. Rice is running away with it. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. I'd like to put this more delicately if I could, but if this were a horse, they would put it out of its misery. This game Ouch. is this game is <laughs> ugly and, uh, and completely non-competitive. No, one of these teams is not like the other. I mean, one's no, really... Two Davis two and Pollock, two two you two should two be two. here instead of Herb Street and myself. Second half just about ready to begin. He's to the 20. At the 30. And he's tackled at the 34. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. Rice looking to add to this big lead here. And he's tackled at the 47. He was covered and still caught the ball. Yeah, this guy has got the balance, control, and just great instincts when it comes to catching the football. Good-looking athlete. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball in their own 47. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That'll bring up second and three. through for the first down like this. It makes an offense so much more versatile. It's first and ten. Ball on the 37. Fakes it, and the quarterback scrambles. He'll take it himself. It's picked up by the offense.
looked like the same play they just called. Yeah, it was. The defense was ready for it this time. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Rice up by a big Set. margin. Check, check. Fires it out. Brought down at the 28 yard line. Unable to convert on fourth down, and the ball changes hands. Not a whole lot's been working for them so far. They should just come out and play loose and easy because they've got nothing to lose. Scrambling around. They'll bring him down right around the 36-yard line. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Six-yard line. So can the defense match their effort from the last drive with another takeaway? Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. Zips it to the tight end. Tackle at midfield. From midfield. Second down. Rice with a commanding lead. That's a great tackle at the 49-yard line. That's good for a gain of one yard. That'll bring up third and four. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. And he tackles them hard at the 38-yard line. Pretty good game. More importantly, though, it's good for the first down. That's heartbreaking for a defense. They stopped him on the first three plays, but they just couldn't contain the pass on fourth down. Forward to about the 36. A yard, maybe two on the carry. That makes it second and eight. From the 36 yard line, it's second down. Ready! Green 88! Green 88! Fakes to the back. There's a strike complete. He's down. Defense gets caught up and concerned about the running game, and it puts them out of position. And it makes the throwing lanes for the quarterback and the windows that he's trying to find much easier to find for a quarterback and the receivers to pick up big yards like we just saw there. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Rice comes to the line in complete control in this game. Tell you 
something. I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. And he makes it out to about the five-yard line. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. That was a great hit by the defenders. He just drove the ball carrier right to the ground. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. Puts it right in his hands. Touchdown. And that makes it three scoring tosses for him. The one thing this quarterback does a nice job of is taking what the defense gives him. He's always looking for the open target. And he converts the extra point. It was an 11-play, 55-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. You know, Brad, a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a seven-on-seven -seven drill to not see the ball touch the ground. But this time, they went the entire length of the field. The ball never touched the ground. Great execution by the quarterback and the receiver. The Owls' plan was to run the ball, and they are doing it as well as we've seen it. Uh, they're running the football. These backs seem to be hitting the holes just at the right time. And how about the offensive line? Just opening up some nice holes, just doing what this offense needs to do to be successful. Strike to his receiver, no good. Robinson's intended receiver on the play. That makes it second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 25. 34 to fight. 34 to fight. Here we go. Quick strike to the fullback. Incomplete off his hands. They come out on an empty backfield. Fires it quickly. And he's immediately tackled. This is a great pitch and catch combination, and they hook up here for a big time game. So after the big pass play, we've got a first down. that oh he tripped over his man he sacked himself tripped over his own man we'll take it two-yard line. It's first down. They come out in a five-wide set. Fires across the middle. He's taken down at the 22. Call it a gain of 10 yards. First down. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. He's scrambling. And he's taken down at the 20-yard line. Call his own number on that one. I like the idea of trying to run here, but the defense really made him pay the price for trying to run. This is the eighth play of this drive. Hey, I'm coming, I'm coming. Mike 34, Mike 34. Yeah. He's tackled at the 25. The defense had that one called perfectly. That's a big play on that loss. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. Inside the 10. He's all the way home. Touchdown. And they had a tough time defending that one. Well, Brad, one of the things with this defense is you leave yourself vulnerable in one-on-one -on -one coverage. Great throw by the quarterback and great speed by the receiver. And he hits the PAT. A nine-play, 75-yard drive. And they come away with seven points. Amazing. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He'll return it from the one. He's taken down at the 28. 
The offense will come out again hoping to have similar results as their last drive. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. The defenders played the snap count purposely. He found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. So the sack makes this a second and long. Rice in control. Play fake. He's on the run. Slides down. Picks up five on the scramble. for the D there. Yeah, they really cranked it up a notch on that series. Come on, come on. McCoy is back deep to return the punt. <laughs> McCoy fields at the 29, and down he goes at the 39. We head to the fourth quarter, and this one might be over. Rice has got a huge lead. Just about set to start the fourth quarter, mercifully. The deficit is huge, but as a player, you never want to slow down your effort. Believe me, coaches notice the ones who aren't trying that hard. Makes the catch and look out. And they make the stop at the 45. I think he could have taken a risk down the field, but he played it safe instead, and that's one of the keys to winning ball games. They're about four yards away here on second down. in and it's picked out of the sky and he's tackled at the 47 yard line I think that interception pretty much sums up this whole game the throw was let's go and defense. The defense let's go stepped up oh, and made yet what another a play. play what a play what a play Down, 10 to go. Ball on the 47. Roger, Roger. Check number six. Check number six. Hey. Up the middle for a nice game. So it's second down now. They need about four yards to pick up the first. Rice looking to put this game away if they score here. Stay on. Got an opening. And he hits him hard at the 38. He's at the 30. He's at the 20. He gets out to about the 14-yard line. This is the kind of steady, strong drive that coaches love to see. Right now, they're firing on all cylinders. yard line first down here we go Green 95. Run. Go, go, go. nice run and he's brought down That's a two -way. Two -way. that brings him second and five we've got a second and five Ball on the nine. Hey, check Mike 57. Mike 57. Ready. 180. Why? 80. Throws it and it's tipped away. I don't think the quarterback 
back read the zone properly. The linebacker was in a great spot to make a play on the ball. down for this offense that keeps everybody enthusiastic. You can see the momentum that this offense is gaining. The coaches and the players on the sideline are fired up and ready to reset it down. Rice comes to the line holding that commanding lead. They give to the tailback. Brought down around the two-yard line. That's good for This is the ninth play of this drive. They come out in a goal line set. Room around the corner. Touchdown. The halfback just plowed his way into the end zone. Yeah, but it wasn't all him. The offensive line would just pancake the defense on that. studio for this Reese Davis update. The cauldron of intensity that is the SEC championship game. The Gators relentless with their rushing attack and they score a touchdown. Florida's on top, 7-0. Reese, we're not going to have an exciting finish here, I can tell you that. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. At the 30. Gets past the tackler. Tackle at the 33-yard line. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injury. There's a strike complete. They'll bring him down right around the 42-yard line. That's a it's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Five wide. And he is drilled at the 49. That makes it first and ten. In the shotgun and five wide outs. He scrambled. Tackle the 39 yard line. That's good for a of 10 yards. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 39. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Let's go! Quick out to his receiver. That's a great tackle at the 30. Griffin brings him down with the 30 yard line. That'll make it second and inches. Gives it to the back. Gains his way to the 20 yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on the 20 yard line. Just throws this one away. play of the series they'll spread the field with five wide gets it out to his receiver in a hurry 
And he tackles them hard at the 12. They pick up at the most four yards on the screenplay. Simple bubble screen here. The receiver did a pretty good job of picking up some yardage before he went down. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Nice play to set up first and goal. Henry makes the tackle at the three-yard line. This is the tenth play of this drive. This defense not wanting to give an inch here. Got a receiver, and he dropped it. That brings up a second and goal. Ball on the three. Well, they're not going to win it, but they're still playing hard out there. Nice run and a score by the halfback. And a nice call by the coach there. Just give it to your main man anytime you're near the goal line. He makes the PAT. Time for an update from the studio. Reese, what have you got? Checking in on the SEC championship game. We've been watching this thing all day long. The Gators unleash their aerial assault and score a touchdown. Taken down by the kicker. Their last drive ended with a touchdown. Let's see what happens on this possession. I expect him to run the ball, kill the clock, and put this one in the books. Rice with a commanding lead. And down he goes at the 25-yard line. That makes it first and ten. First and ten. Ball on the 25. such great poise back there in the pocket. That's the main reason he's been able to find the end zone so many times. He splits the uprights with the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 29-yard line. I think any good football team has to have an ability to answer, and that's exactly what we just saw. One team scores a touchdown. The other team comes right back and puts another touchdown on the board. This is getting exciting. They got into the end zone last time. Let's see if they can match that on this possession. As long as this quarterback has time to throw, then you can guarantee that he'll find the open man. It's second and ten. Ball on the 29. Quick throw. He's taken down at the 35-yard line. Third down. Just under three to go in regulation. his tight end and he's taken down right around the 38 yard line he's going to come up shy of the first down marker guys had that not been a great defensive effort he would have easily gotten there this is a great punt blocking team and it looks like they're going to try to get to this one tries to get around the corner 
He makes it to the 45-yard line. Rice's staff and their fans got to be happy this guy's on their side. Well, with him making plays the way he did today, there's reason for their optimism and the reason they feel good about having him on their side. The offense was able to punch it in the end zone on that last drive. They'll come back out looking for more of the same. This offensive coordinator's got to be feeling so good about the execution that he's seeing from his quarterback and his wide receiver. Because, again, they put so much time in trying to put a plan together. And to be able to see that actually come into play makes you feel pretty good as a play caller. They're about four yards away here on second down. It's the tailback. That's not what you hope for from your running game. You're looking for some solid north and south progress. You never want to give the defense a play like that to build their confidence. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. Maybe after a nice run like that, you try to go up in the air for the play-action pass. From the 40-yard line, first down. Here we go. He's tackled at the 38-yard line. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. And that was the freshman linebacker who was right there to make the play. Well, some backups got some playing time today, that's for sure. It's final. Champion. 56, the big blue, 24. Back to and back. we finish up the broadcast. What do you have to say about how this game back turned to out? Back to back. It's a really good job by the coaches here by not letting them take an underdog lightly and really getting after it from the very beginning of this game. Rice played a terrific game today. Even better than I thought they would. Top to bottom, they just looked out of sight. Kind of see it with five touchdowns. For Rice, they just keep winning in what has been a great year for them. Great job. Try to squad. This is the first time Panathea really got sacked like that. And he actually had two fumbles, but five total touchdowns. That one right there, man. That one pissed me off right there. We will take it. Back-to-back -back champions. Griffin, another 100-yard game. He had a hell of a senior season, man. You got to give it to him. Pierre Jones had a really good game. He just know how to get open. Ellis had a good game with a pick. The senior Taylor got a pick. To our seniors on defense stepped up. The sack master got in there with two picks, two more picks. I think that's like 17 on the season for him. Not much for the kicker. Punter, three punts. Return game, 86 more for McWilson. 56 punt retards. McWilson just racking up all purpose yards. But yeah, man. So that's the championship, y'all. Most likely, nine times out of ten, we're in the playoffs. So we'll see you on the next episode. And until then, thank you for watching. Peace.